Right, well, welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration Channel. My name is Barry, for those of you who are new to the channel. What arrived in the post yesterday afternoon? Let's have a look. What well, brand new 990 clutch. Funny enough, it's got all the lugs in place as well, this one. Not like mine. So today, we're going to take the cover off, the starter motor out, because I had to put them on in order to... Um, check that the engine was rotating and it had um, oil pressure so we're going to take those back off we're going to put the clutch in and we're going to line it up and it's freezing here the day so that's all we're going to do i'm not going to do anything else i'm just going to get this in bolt it up get the plates lined up job sorted we might get the clutch cover put back on the starter motor put back in so we're ready to rock and roll what i'm going to do is i'm going to time lapse it because you've seen this put it in before, it's no different. It's exactly the same, just going to go back in, I'm going to use the two shafts as alignment tools. I'm going to pop it back in, put the cover back on, put the starter motor back in, and that'll be it for today. Um, I'm absolutely freezing out here the day. It's just unbelievable, the changes from 25, 26 degrees down to 10 degrees. As you see by the fluffy top that I've got on and that. But we'll get sorted out, we'll get this done, So this video might be a particular use to MJP Drone Catcher, who a couple of weeks ago messaged me about setting up his clutch stop brake. So even though mine hasn't any friction material on it and will be coming back off to go or possibly a way or to get friction material fitted, the setup procedure will be the same. So I hope this is of use to you. Let's get on with it. First thing to do Back off all your adjustment nuts, here and here. Ensure this arm, which is your, the arm that comes up and goes through your pedal, make sure that can rotate on your shaft that the fork, the clutch fork is sitting on. Because that rotates with this screw, the adjustment screw under here, to give you your clearances here and at the throw off bearing inside there. We need to have inch to inch and a half travel on the pedal. We'll just put my rule there. You can eyeball across to here. This is just a rough measurement, right? Inch to inch and a half, half an inch tolerance on that. You've got loads of room. Excessive play on the pedal. This screw down here, you turn in, which will move this lever clockwise, thus lifting the pedal. If there is insufficient play in your pedal, you turn this screw out and that will allow the spring tension on here 
to pull everything backwards. I've adjusted my adjustment screw here to give me about an inch up here. So with that set, with that set at an inch, the next thing to set is the clearance in here. See if we can get this without the torch rolling off my knee. The clearance in here between the domed head and the cam that activates your clutch stop. The gap between the head and that face is one is one sixteenth of an inch. So if you get your feeler gauges, pop your feeler gauges in there and then adjust that up. So you get to 1 16th, set your lock nuts. Don't tighten anything up yet excessively, or do, I wouldn't even bother tightening anything at this stage. My lock nuts there and there are all still slack. At those settings, inch to inch and a half free play here, 1 16th here, we should now be able to release the clutch get the output shaft to the gearbox to rotate, get your clutch stop brake to work at the correct time before your PTO shaft releases. The PTO should not release until we get down to the bottom of the travel on this. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna depress the clutch pedal we're going to see that the output shaft releases before, and it's a fraction, just before the clutch brake begins to bite. So we're going to, that's solid there. We're going to start and just slowly push the clutch pedal down. If you watch, that's starting to turn now. You can either watch the block in here. It's a bit more difficult to see here where it's contacting. But if you watch the block in here, the connecting block, or even your strap here, you'll see this start, this should start to move now. That's nice and free there now. PTO is still locked up, which is good. That's nice and free. And you can see, that's working there now. If I depress the pedal slowly, turning the output shaft as we go down, that just starts to rotate as the clutch brake band begins to activate. And then we'll go down there. That's nice and free now. Okay. PTO still tight, as it should be. What we've got to do now is depress the clutch all the way to the floor in order to free off that. Right, depress the clutch. Output shaft goes loose. Brake begins to activate. Now we go all the way at the bottom and a PTO comes up. There, nip. PTO's nip there. Clutch can still rotate. There we go, setting the clutch up. Can we, we kind of seek for the housing that's on. Down in here, this adjustment screw. You go in here with a set of feeler gauges this is a lock nut, the screw's in the middle. Um, if you go back to my previous video on setting these up, you'll see what I mean about adjustments on these. But you set the gap in here at 70,000 static like this. As we depress the clutch pedal, as this roller contacts 
this face and this face at the same time, which will be there. If you measure this gap in here, and it is larger than 12 thou, you come down to the eccentric here, you can see the pin there, you ease the eccentric out to increase that gap, you turn this clockwise and pop it back in one hole. If you want to decrease the gap, you turn it counterclockwise. Then you have to reset your clearance on your clutch brake as well. All right. Then go around, tighten all your lock nuts up, check your measurements, and that should be it. The whole purpose of the clutch stop is to stop the input shaft to the gearbox rotating. Because it's a straight cut, what we would call a crash box, you have to stop the input shaft so that you can change gear without that horrible grinding noise that you get. And if you remember, and I'll put a link to it here, if you remember, go back to the video where I dismantled the gearbox that came out of this, and you'll see the damage to the gears that occurs when this doesn't work or it's not adjusted properly. To adjust the brake band, there's lock nuts here and here. So you, you lengthen this to increase, you lengthen this to increase the clearance, shorten it to decrease the clearance. As I say, my band, you can see my band has not got any friction material on it. This will be coming out and getting sorted. And that's it for your clutch pedal adjustments. Um, hopefully, DJP, drone catcher, hopefully that's been useful to you. Um, I know I tried to explain it. Boogie man's coming in. I know I tried to explain it in text, but it's, it's not one of the easiest things to explain in text, unless you're a very articulate person with words, which I'm not. My learning style is activist. Hence, I get stuck in and get things done, right? I'm not a theorist. Theorists will sit and read books and know everything about the job without even touching it. Not me, I kind of do that. So, as I say, hopefully that's been useful. Right, well, eventually, that's my clutching, all sorted. Working as it's supposed to work. Can it be bad, can it? Well, thank you very much for visiting. Thanks very much for popping by. Um, as I say, I hope this has been helpful to you. I know I've learned an awful lot from it. One, don't use hammers. Two, 350 quid for a new clutch. It gets expensive because um, it was 275 plus postage plus VAT. Government likes their bit, doesn't it? Huh? They sit on the big fat shiny backsides down in London there and do nothing except destroy the country and still take 20% off of fun out. <sighs> Gotta keep going, haven't we? So, thank you very much for visiting. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your mates. We're at 460, I think, this morning. I've got three days to get 40 more to hit me target. I want, I, I would like 100 per month. Please, please subscribe. Help us get this channel up to 500 by the end of this month. Be very, very much appreciated. It really would. So, that's it for another one. Um, remember, don't overthink it. It's just nuts and bolts and feel like ages. See you in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Bye now.